key assignments for SOLIDWORKS is a straightforward, powerful add-in. There are two main commands. The first is import surface. This command lets you import a T-spline or a subdivision surface OBJ mesh into SOLIDWORKS. These models need to be created in T-Spines for Rhino or a subdivision service modeler. Examples of subdivision surface modelers include Modo, Lightwave, and Maya. Currently, there is no way to create a T-Spine model inside SOLIDWORKS. you need to import it. When you import your model, it will come in as a solid or a surface body. Here's an example of a solid body. Here's an example of a surface body. You can then run any appropriate SOLIDWORKS command on the model. For instance, if your model is a surface, you can thicken it to turn it into a solid. The second main command in TS Elements for SOLIDWORKS is Edit Feature on your imported model. When you click Edit Feature on the imported model, you can then select Geometry to push and pull to change the shape of the model. This can be useful if you are iterating and want to do something like change the slope or contours of, say, the stadium seat. And select faces and using the triad um, you can change the orientation of the triad to view mode, UVN mode or world orientation. We'll go to world and just move those faces and you can see the rest of the surface responds and updates and stays curvature continuous. After you make those changes and accept them then the rest of the feature tree will attempt to rebuild. You can see in this case most of my features rebuilt but the one of the fillets was unable to be rebuilt because I moved the surface too far. So I can either change my fillet or come back in to my model and tweak the various parts of my model to make them the right size. Some of the other features inside TS Elements for SOLIDWORKS includes the recognition of symmetry if it existed in your T-spline file. So you can see with this green line, now if I select faces or edges on one part of my model, it will update on both sides. You can also change the uh, manipulator type. So from I can go from just the translate to a rotate manipulator and also a scale manipulator. So I can, for example, scale this to make it thicker and bigger. You can also switch in the T-spline to go from smooth mode to a, a box mesh mode which helps you look at the topology better and you can also turn zebra stripes on the model to see the contours. Of course once you select the changes then it will attempt to rebuild the SOLIDWORKS feature tree.